What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create drafting view. So last video, we add some 2D elements to our detail view, which is actually a 3D model. So this time around, we are going to create a drafting view for our uh, detailing. So it's just a 2D drawing. So that is what we are going to do now. So I'm going to show you how to create a drafting view. So from the view tab, so let's start look for the drafting view so you just click that one and then after that you can put here uh dick span transition detail okay and then after that let us just use the default scale here so let's select your okay All right and then it's now here on our project browser so you can find there your uh, drafting views and then there is your uh, drafting view okay so now the next thing that we will be doing is um, let us add now the 2d elements that we need in our uh, model okay so for the first one we are going to insert some of the detail components so from the annotate so let's look for the component. So let's select detail component here. So we are going to add, oops, sorry. So it should be here on the type selector. So let's look for a flange. Uh, let's say I'm going to insert here uh, this one. So AISC wide flange shapes section W18 by 35. So let's click that. And there you go. So there's now our flange and it's just a 2D drawing. And then after that, just select modify. Okay. Now let us add some more uh, 2D elements to our model. So let's continue adding. So let's click again our uh, component. Click. And then from the type selector, so let's look for a joist. Mm, how about I use this one? uh it should be in a section bar joys okay so i'll just use this one click that and then i'm going to place it uh, somewhere here so it's just like a puzzle so we're going to connect that later on okay and then by the way let's check out what's the other one so this is a k-series bar joys side view so let's try this one all right, so this is that one. Okay, and then after that, let's select here, modify. Okay, and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to move this. I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to move that. Here's my base point, and then I'm going to uncheck the constraint here, and then let's say I'm going to put that here. There you go. Then just click outside. Okay, and then let us add some uh, detailing again. So component, this time let's use repeating detail component. So it repeats a detail component along a path. So repeating details are primary, primarily useful in plan views and section views. So you can specify the layout and spacing of the repeating detail from the properties window. Okay, so let's select this one. And then we will be using... The default here metal deck okay so metal deck okay and then after that i'll be starting uh somewhere here so i'll just click there okay and then you can press a space bar to flip the direction of your repeating details so right now it's towards down so if you press the space bar it will go upright so remember that every time you press the space bar it will flip your model and then i'm just gonna place somewhere here there you go and then select here modify now let us add some more details so let's go back let's go back again to our uh detail component so let's click that and then from the type selector so let's look for a tubing uh do i have a tubing here so ah yeah okay so i'm gonna 
select this one, AISC Tube Shapes section. So let's click that. And then I'm just going to place it here, just beside. Just like that, click and then select here, Modify. Okay, and then after that, let us add some roof decking. So again, let's go to Component. So let's look for uh, roof decking here. Side view. Uh, 1.5 WR. Okay, so I'm just going to use this one. 1.5 WR22. So let's click that. And then I'm going to pick here. And then you can pick all the way here. And then select here, modify. There you go. And then let's move this. So move. Let's move that here. Okay, and then for this one, for our K-series bar joist section 14K3. So let us just align that. So let's use align tool. Put it here, and then align. There you go. Okay, so that's it for our detailing. So the next thing that we will be doing is let us add some text. So obviously, that's the last one that we'll be doing. So let's add some text, and then let's also add some symbol. So let's go to the annotate again, and then let's use a symbol here. So I'll be adding a weld symbol. So I'm going to select here weld symbol bottom. So let's click this. And then I'm going to put it somewhere here. We can move that later on and then select modify. And then after that, uh, let's modify our uh, weld symbol. So I'm going to select the weld symbol. And then from here, from the properties. So for the field weld, so maybe I'm going to check this one. And then apply. There you go. So there's the icon there. And then um, for the bottom weld size, so let's put here 3, 16 inch, enter. And then for the weld length, so I'll just type 2, space, at uh, 12, enter. And then for the symbol left, I'll just uncheck that one. Then apply. There you go. Okay, and then let us click this to add leader. So let's click add leader. There you go. So let me just move that somewhere here and then drag that. I'm going to point it here. Okay, that's it. And then let us put some text. So let's click the text here to finish up our uh, detailing drafting view. Okay, so let me just pick here. So this is my uh, steel, oops, steel deck, and then uh, C plan. Click outside, uh, click the modify to terminate, and then let's change the type. So one eighth of an inch, so about uh, 3 over 32. There you go, and then let's drag, then let's tidy up our text so let's copy this oops so copy so here so this is my uh, steel joist and C plan for more details then let's point that here Let's copy again. The reason why I'm copying so that they are aligned. So our model is tidy. So this is my uh, tubing. So HS, uh, HSS 2 and 1 half by 2 and 1 half by 3 over 16. Let's click that. And then let's point that there. Arrange the elbow. There you go. 
And then what else? So our steel beam. So I'll just copy this. Then maybe I'll put one here. So this is our steel beam. Steel beam C plan. Click that and let's point it here. And what else? Our decking. So I'm going to copy this. Put here. So I'm going to point that to our roof deck. See, this is our steel deck. And then our joist. So let's point that here. Or maybe I'll just move it here. Okay. That is my uh, steel joist and there you go so that's now our drafting view so this is just a 2d drawing so basically you can only see this um 2d drawings in your drafting view so you can't see this in your other view so any changes that you made here you can only uh update your current view so it will not reflect to your 3d model and vice versa any changes that you made in your 3d model will not affect your drafting view okay so that's it for this one so hopefully you learned something from this uh revit structure 2022 uh, lesson so this is the last video so thank you for watching guys and supporting my channel so thank you for watching have a nice day